Hey yogis, it's Sina here, the Yoga Apothecary. In today's flow, we continue our A to Z of well-being series. U stands for unplug. So grab a towel and some water and I'll meet you on the mat. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? If you're like many people, you might reach for your smartphone that is sitting right next to you on your nightstand. Or perhaps your phone is under your pillow because you like to monitor your sleep. So often we seek to find out what's going on in the world before we think about our intentions and what lies ahead in our day. While the use of technology has many benefits, researchers are starting to understand how technology negatively impacts our health and well-being. Overuse of our digital devices like smartphones and tablet computers increase your risk for sleep problems, can cause eye strain, increase distractibility, which is particularly problematic if you have attention deficit disorder, and we all know that thoughtless use of your devices is an absolute time suck. Even if you don't consider yourself a heavy tech user, there are many reasons you may benefit from unplugging from technology once in a while. For example, unplugging a few hours every week increases the opportunity for solitude and self-reflection. By putting your device down and paying attention to what's happening in your environment, it helps you stay and savor your experiences. And finally, constantly seeing your friend and family have fun, going out to dinner, or traveling can lead to a fear of missing out which is associated with negative feelings that our lives are less interesting and less satisfying. FOMO can fill people with feelings of regret. Cutting back on our social media consumption and turning off those notifications can increase your sense of satisfaction with the good things happening in your life. In yoga, we intentionally leave the distractions and devices aside to focus on the breath and movement. Today, savor the experience as we journey in our flow towards Flying Lotus. And with that, we'll get started on our backs in Bridge Pose. As we begin coming to our back in Bridge Pose, just taking this opportunity to let the body touch the earth, start to notice the points of your body on the mat, you're welcome to leave your hands rest, maybe by your sides on the mat, maybe here on your thighs, one hand on the heart, one on the belly. Just coming into this present moment, maybe a soft gaze to the ceiling or shut the eyes. Take a body scan, take inventory on the mat, beginning at the top of the head or at the feet, yogi's choice. If you'd rather be in Supta Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet touching, knees wide, or Shavasana, you're welcome to start there. Just notice any tension or tightness that you may be feeling. Wiggle some fingers and toes. And notice the subtle way the body may move with your breath. As we begin to lengthen the breath, inhale, fill up. Spread the ribs, take in all the air you think you can. Exhale, release. Another just like that, inhale, fill up. Take in all the air you think you can, spread those ribs, and then release it when you're ready. As we come to our Ujjayi breath or victorious breath, you'll inhale through the nose, seal the lips, and exhale through the nose, creating a seashelly swirly sound, constricting the back of the throat. We'll take this once together, once on your own. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose. Take it another time on your own. And then from here, bring the knees to the chest. Hands can reach to the knees or the shins. 
You may feel as it's early to reach for the soles of the foot. If you'd like to, please do so. And then we'll focus bringing the hands on top of this right knee. Extend the left leg long, let the heel reach for the mat. Pause here, maybe giving a soft tug of this knee towards the chest. Again, feet are flexed. And then tee out this right arm. Leave the left hand hugging in this right knee. And then as you exhale, we'll take a twist across the body, trying to leave the shoulders rooted, coming only as far as feels comfortable for you. And you're also just welcome to leave the knee towards the chest where you started if coming across the body does not feel good. You'll inhale, bring it back, draw the knees back to the chest and pause. Maybe a soft rock right and left. Then bring the knees, uh, the hand to the knee on the left. Extend the right leg long. Feet are flexed, pause here. Soft tug of the knee towards the chest. Then begin to tee out the left arm. And again, we take a cross body twist, drawing the right knee over, left knee, sorry, over to your right side body. Breathing here, leaving the shoulders rooted on the mat. Coming back to center, draw the knees to chest. We come to happy baby pose. Just starting to again, continue to open up the hips. Draw the knees to the underarms and pause without reaching for the feet. We've done this many times before in the series. Now you're welcome to place the hands to the soles of the feet and draw the knees further towards the underarms or maybe you like to wrap them behind the calves and touch the base of the heel. Draw it back, leave the hips rooted. Maybe a soft sway from side to side. Let the feet plant. We're gonna take a round of bridge twice, lifting the arms above the head as part of this journey. So hold with your inhale. As you exhale, hip points up. Arms reach above the head. Squeeze the glutes and thighs. Offer the heart space to the back of the mat. Three points of each foot is rooted to the earth. And as you exhale, arms come with you on the journey back to your side. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lift. Squeeze the thighs and glutes. Inhale, hold. And exhale, lower. We'll fire up our core with some eagle variations of a crunch, and we'll be using eagle throughout our class today. So draw the knees to the chest. We're gonna lift the right leg over to, to the left, and it can just hang by the side, or maybe you wish to tuck it under like a pretzel. From here, reach the arms up to the sky, eagle arms, right comes under left. From here, we'll execute the movement. With your inhale, you tap behind you with the fingers, tap the toes. And exhale, we crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, hold. Three, two, and one. Release. Unwind. Let the feet land. Arms can rest at your side for a moment. We'll come to the other side. Knees draw to the chest. Left comes over right. You're welcome to pretzel or let it hang at the side. Arms reach, left now under right, creating the bind. Inhale, tap it. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, tap. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, tap. Exhale, crunch. Hold, three, two, and one. Unwind, let the feet land, palms at the sides, pause. Again, we draw the knees to chest, maybe we rock right, left, for a moment. And then you may place your hands behind 
the thighs, you're welcome to cross your ankles or leave them pointed and begin to rock your way up, cross the ankles and come into tabletop pose, making our way there. Knees are under the hips, wrists are under the shoulders, neutral spine, flat back, crown is long. We'll inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, open the heart space, gaze to the clouds, soft bend the elbows. Imagine the knees and thighs are reaching for the edges of the mat. Exhale, cat. Create that C shape at the spine, relax the head and shoulders, shins and the tops of the feet pressing into the mat. We inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Find some movement one more time. And exhale, cat. Come back to tabletop pose. And then begin to step the right toes back. Extend the leg long. Shift forward with your inhale, back exhale. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, leave the toes rooted. And from here, extend this left arm, fingertips grazing the mat. As you inhale, lengthen full spinal balance. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hug it in, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Sway the hips and shoulders in an opposite direction. Gaze follows the shoulders. And then we come back to tabletop pose for the other side. Left leg long, toes stay rooted. We inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, extend the right hand long, toes to the mat, breath in, breath out. Inhale, extend, exhale lower. Inhale, extend, Exhale, lower. Inhale, extend. Hug it in, crunching hold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, lower. Maybe you press back to a child's pose. Sway the hips and shoulders. We come back to tabletop pose. Hold here and then tuck the toes. Lift the hips for the first downward dog of the practice. Start to pedal the dog. Lifting one heel and then the other. Breathing into this space. Pressing the palms into the mat. Spread those fingers wide. Press through the thumb and the first finger. Offer your heart space closer to your thighs. As you start to come to a still down dog, Lining up the ears with the biceps. Press the mat away with those fingers. Draw the mat behind you with your feet. And imagine extending your feet to the edges of the mat, even though they don't move. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Pause here in bear pose. Offer your heart space closer to your thighs. Rise up on the balls of the toes. Push the mat away with the palms. Then we inhale, ripple forward to a plank. Holding here, softening through the shoulders. Between the shoulder blades, draw the heels to the back of the mat. Breath in. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, ripple forward to plank. From here, Lift the right foot up and let it land on the left. Lengthen through the spine. Float it up, step it down. Other side, lift the left, stack it on the right. Lengthen through the spine, float it up, step it down. Exhale, down dog. Very nice. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Make your way to the top of your mat. As we come to a ragdoll forward fold, 
Feet come roughly hips distance apart. Relax the head and shoulders. Maybe you sway from side to side. You can hug your front body. Interlace the hands behind the back. Lots of options here. Saying yes to this practice. Slowly begin to bring the big toes to touch. Leave a sliver of light between your heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the shins. Shoulders at the height of the hips. Gaze over the nose. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Dig through those heels. Squeeze the glutes and thighs. Knit the low ribs together. Palms face one another. Maybe the gaze comes up. Bring the arms forward as we take eagle arms. Right comes under left, creating a bind with the arms. Take your breath in. Use the opportunity to round through these shoulders. Imagine the opening the palms, even though they're still in the bind. Inhale, release forward. Left comes under right. Again, round through the shoulder blades as if to break the bind. Inhale the arms up, exhale cactus wide. Take a breath in and then forward fold your way down to the earth. Inhale half lift, exhale fold. Plant the palms, bend the knees, step back to plank. Hold here in your plank and then exhale down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. As you exhale, right knee to right elbow, give it a tap. Inhale it up. As you exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Lower your left knee and toes. Take a moment to find center. Pause with the hand at the thigh. Draw the right heel back. Tuck this left knee forward. So right hips pulling back, left hips pulling forward. Knit the low ribs together, navel to spine. Arms will reach up when you're ready, Anjani Asana. From here, eagle arm, we're gonna bring right under left. Round through the shoulder blades, push them out of way. Inhale up, exhale cactus wide. Inhale up, exhale plant the palms, sink back for a half split. Right toes come towards the nose. Dig and drag the right heel to the back of the mat. We try and take the arch from the back. Inhale, shift forward. Lift the left knee and toes. Step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, upward salute. Arms will come forward. Eagle arm right under left. Breathe round through the shoulders. Arms release forward. Inhale. Left under right. Eagle arm. Exhale, hold. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus. Let's bring the hands to the hips, soft bend the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at the hips. Heart space moves forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, bend the knees. We step back to plank, hold. Exhale, down dog. As we come to the other side, inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale it up. As you exhale, we step the foot through and lower the right knee and toes. Take a moment to bring your hands to your thigh. Pause there. Draw the left heel to the back of the mat. Tuck the right knee forward. So the left hip is pulling back. Right hip tucks forward. When you're ready, Anjani Asana. As we exhale, we take eagle left under right. Round through the shoulder blades. Inhale up, exhale cactus, inhale up, exhale plant the palms, sink back for a half split. Left toes are towards the nose, 
dig and drag the left heel to the back of the mat. You can soft bend the left knee if you need to for your hamstrings. Again, tent the fingertips. When you're ready, inhale, shift forward, tent the hands, lift the right knee and toes, step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, dig through those heels. We exhale, right under left, eagle arms. Inhale, release left, under right, eagle arms. Inhale it up. Exhale, cactus your way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, bend your knees, step back to plank. We'll take cobra pose, so lower with your exhale, knees, thighs, toes. Palms will be outside the ribs. Holding here. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, cobra. Peel the heart space up. Roll the shoulders back. Draw the elbows to touch. Exhale, release. Take an inhale where you are. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a falling out breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look to the top of the mat. Make your way forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Inhale root to rise, chair pose. We'll bring our hands to heart center to the chest. Maybe slight in, slightly widen the feet. Sink the weight back to the heels. Pull everything towards center. Imagine two legs become one. As you inhale, we'll start to rise. The right knee comes to the chest, foot is flexed. As we exhale, we'll come to figure four. Externally rotating, opening, sinking back, shifting the weight, breathe. We'll drop in a figure four pose. Hold here. Inhale, start to rise. Bring this right knee up. We'll come to eagle. Crossing the right leg over the left. Kick standing it to the side of the leg. Right arms come forward. Sorry, both arms. Right under left. We come to eagle. Fix your gaze. Use the drishti. Maybe you tap your knee with your elbows. Eagle crunch. Start to rise. When you feel stable, right knee to the chest. And we come to warrior three eagle variation. Right leg comes long. Toes point down. Breathe. And then bend the front leg. Land it into crescent. Eagle, hold here, release the arms, crescent, inhale. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Dig through the pinky edge of the right foot and line up the back heel with the arch, this heel with the arch of your right foot. You wanna keep your hips more in line with one another. And as always, stack your skull one line through the core. We'll gaze over the left fingertips. Flip the left palm up. Inhale, reverse our warrior, spreading the left side body, leaving the feet rooted and the left knee bent. From here, side angle. Right hand comes inside or outside the earth, shin, or thigh. Right hand reaches up to the sky, pause. Stack shoulders, spread ribs. Then windmill the arms to the mat in a lunge. Step the left leg back. We come to plank. 
And we're going to come to locust pose. So come down. Arms come long to the back of the mat. Palms face down. Think airplane arms. Take a moment here to inhale. And as you exhale, peel the heart space, roll the shoulder blades back. Imagine the pinkies tried to touch and have the same feeling with your toes. Thinking length over lift. One more breath. Exhale, plant the palms by your side. Take an inhale where you are. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. As we come to the other side, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look to the top of the mat and make your way. We meet there. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise into chair, though. Again, maybe you bring the feet slightly apart, sink the weight back to the heels. We'll leave the hands at heart center. Squeezing, pulling it in towards center, your tree trunk for leg. Then we start to rise, bringing the left knee up. We'll exhale, figure four. Crossing it over to the right knee and thigh, and maybe we sink it down. Maybe the elbows touch the shin, hold. Use the drishti. You may be wobbly, that's okay. Cross the leg over. Arms come out, left under right. We come to eagle. And maybe we have a crunch. Left knee to the chest. Push it back. Exhale, warrior three. Then we bend the right leg, right knee, and come down for crescent. Eagle variation. Release the arms. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Again, making the hips even. Stacking the skull. Lining up the right heel to the back arch. Look over the right fingertips. Flip the right palm up and over. Reverse our warrior. We come to side angle. Make it resist the arm on the leg and the leg on the arm. Stack shoulders, spread left ribs. Feet stay rooted. And then we windmill to the mat. Step the right leg back to plank and come down for another round of locusts. Take a moment here. Exhale, peel that heart space, roll shoulders back, length over lift. Imagining toes and fingers are touching, breath in. Exhale, release. Take your inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come down to tabletop pose. Pause, sink back on your heels. It's time for some water. We're gonna take a break, towel off, and then we'll come back to the mat for another small sequence. See you in a minute. So as we come back to the mat, we're gonna meet in down dog, and we're gonna be doing a variation of down dog using eagle legs then bringing our hands from down dog to the back of the mat, pausing, rising up with the legs still twined, intertwined, to take eagle at the back of the mat, and we'll move from eagle to tree, and then I'll take you from there. So it's a bit of a, a challenging transition, one we've not done before in the series, and I hope you enjoy it, but as always, if that's not for you, do not move to eagle variation with your legs, and you're always welcome if the binding is starting to be uncomfortable for your shoulders, you can always hug your front body versus creating a bind. Enough said, let's go to down dog. 
Coming into downward dog. From here, you'll inhale, wrapping the right over the left. Look to the back of your mat and then start to make your way, pushing your way to the back. Tent the fingertips, find your stability, and if you fall out, just come back. Bring the hands to heart center as you make your way up. Then pause. Arms come forward, right moves under left, full eagle. Maybe you sink. Breathe, use the drishti and the focus. Start to unwind, hands can rest at heart space. Right knee to the chest and then where it lands, it lands. Coming into tree. Maybe you cactus your arms. Maybe you grow your branches. You can interlace them behind your hands behind your back and roll your shoulder blades down. Keep the gaze focused. Bring the hands to heart center. Knee to the chest, look to the top of the mat. We're gonna come to a lunge with the right leg coming forward, but think toe ball heel when you land your right foot. Maybe you wanna release the arms. Toe ball heel lands last. We come to crescent, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms, but bring the palms inside the right foot and walk the right foot out. Bend the left knee, come to the top of the mat, sink into a yogi squat. Maybe because it's the first time here and you still might feel tight, maybe you shift your weight. Heels do not need to touch the earth if they don't. Hands come to heart center. Use your elbows to open up the thighs, thighs on the elbows. If you wanna try another variation in Malasana, Make a fist and make the fist touch. And again, use your elbows to open up the thighs. Then we'll come down to our bottoms. As we come to Navasana, we've done this before in class and you have a few variations you can pick from. You can leave the feet rooted, just shift the weight back Reach the arms forward, keeping a neutral spine. You can keep your, your knees and feet at 90-90 and do the same. Rooting the sits bones into the mat. Maybe you grab for the sides of the knees. Or if you wish to take it further and lengthen the legs, pulling to center, holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Cross the ankles. We head on over back to the down dog. As we come to the other side, <clears throat> take a falling out breath. Inhale. Exhale it out. Now we're going to take the left, cross it over the right. Make your hands your way to the back of the mat. It's a little awkward. Start to find your balance. Don't move until you feel it. Bring the hands to heart center. Start to rise. When you come up, you'll move to full eagle, left under right. Pause here. Maybe you lower. Coming back. Hands can come to heart center. Left knee comes up. When you're ready, we meet in tree. Taking the same options you took on the other side with your arms. You might be cactusing, growing branches, Interlace them behind the back. We meet back with hands at heart center. 
Left knee comes up, toe ball heel. Maybe you drop the arms. We come back to crescent. Inhale. Exhale, plant inside the left foot. Widen the left foot to the edge of the mat. Soft bend the right knee. It meets at the top. We sink down to our yogi squat. Maybe we make the fist or just leave them at heart center and hold here for a cycle of breath. Then come to the bottom. Another round of boat pose. Aiming to leave the spine long. Any variation you wish to take. And we'll hold, counting down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Cross the ankles. Come to tabletop. Sit back on the heels. You're welcome to take another quick break, grabbing some water in case you got a little warm. And then what we're gonna do when we come back in a moment is put these two flows together and then we're gonna play with Flying Lotus and then cool it down. So see you in another moment. So as we come back to the mat, we're gonna meet in our down dog and as we move combining these flows, I'm gonna take out the Malasana yogi squat and the boat pose and move us through pose to build out that part of the space. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Make your way to the top of your mat. We inhale to chair. We rise with the right knee. We exhale, figure four. We inhale up, we take our first variation of eagle. Right under left. The knee comes back up to land in warrior three. We come back to crescent. We open up, inhale crescent. We exhale warrior two. We inhale reverse. We exhale, extend. We windmill the arms down. Step the left leg back to plank. Hold here. Exhale, down dog. Right comes over left. Look to the back of the mat. Making your way there. Finding the stability. We take our second eagle, right under left. Softly come up, root the hands at heart center, bring the knee to the chest, open up for tree. I'll cactus here. Come back to heart center. Knee comes up one last time, toe ball heel, crescent, plant the palms, step the right leg back to plank, and we come down for cobra. Inhale here, exhale cobra, lower down, come back to down dog, exhale. Yes, yogis. One more side to go. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look to the top of the mat. Make your way there. Inhale, chair. Hands at heart center. Root down, left comes up. We exhale, figure four. We inhale up, 
we take our first variation of eagle, left under right, We draw it up and exhale, warrior three. Bend the right knee, softly land. We release to the crescent. We exhale, warrior two. Reverse our warrior. We come to side angle. Look to the top of the mat, windmill the arms down. Step the right leg back to plank, hold, exhale, down dog. We move the left over the right and start to suction cup your way to the back of your mat, tenting up on the fingers. Find the stability before you rise. Coming to full eagle with the bind, use the drishti. Return the hands to heart center. Left knee comes up. We meet in tree. Cactus or any variation you took on the other side. Hands to heart center, knee comes back, maybe the arms drop, toe ball heel, crescent lunge. Plant the palms, step the left leg back to plank, and we'll come to cobra. Inhale here, exhale, cobra pose. Breath in. Exhale, down dog. You did it. Awesome job, you guys. Come to tabletop. Sit back on the heels. And then maybe shift them over to your side so you can come to a seat. We're just going to take fire log before we play with flying lotus. As always, legs are parallel, feet are flexed. We try and line up. The foot with knee, knee with foot. Growing tall, pushing the sits bones down. You're welcome to tent the hands to your side and maybe you lean forward. Maybe the hands come forward. Maybe the forearms come to the mat. Try not to create too much of an arch in the back. Inhale up, switch the legs. As we have done Flying Lotus before on my channel, again, stacking, flexing feet, starting tented fingertips and working your way over, knowing each side of the body is different. As I was saying, we've done Flying Lotus before on my channel. You are also welcome to play with this. Um, using blocks, which is often helpful to give you that little bit of extra height to get into the pose. Placing the hands on blocks. Come up. And so if we want to play, we're nearly there already. I'll maybe shift my weight forward so you can see better. Crossing this foot inside and looping the other one in, so creating the bind, as we've been twisting already in eagle um, all throughout the sequence. So from here, you're gonna use your hands to suction cup and push into the earth. There's a slight lean, and then a pulling in and up as you try and lift the knees and thighs and feet off the mat. So take an inhale here, and then you're gonna exhale it out. Take your another inhale and then you exhale, you're going to push. Push the mat away. Maybe you get lift and lower down. Again, squeezing and pulling towards center. 
So release your feet so that you can bring the other one up and switch sides. So you try and be even. Again, if you have blocks and you want to use them, the blocks will be placed right here outside your thighs. So take a moment to breathe in and out once or twice, and then you'll be ready to use that energy to pulling towards center and pulling it up. Take your inhale when you're ready. Exhale, push. Maybe you swing a little bit. And lower down. Awesome job. Play with this. And when you're ready, we'll come to our back. Back where we started, bring the knees to the chest. We'll soft rock to release our L5 low back. We're going to take pigeon on our back, which we've done many times before. Cross the ankle over, so it's like pigeon, pigeon. It's like pigeon on your back. I'm sorry, it is pigeon on your back. It's doing figure four on your back. You guys, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words today. Interlace those hands behind the left thigh. Use your right elbow to open up the right thigh. You've done a lot today. Hold here, feet are flexed. Tee the arms. We'll take this twist, which we've done before. A variation of a supine from figure four and gaze over the right shoulder. When you're ready, we meet back in center. We're gonna switch it. Now the fingers interlace behind the right thigh, elbow on the left is opening it up. Feet are flexed. We return to tee the arms out when you're ready. And we twist it on over. And we gaze to the left. That was definitely a challenge. Come to center in your balance today. I thank you for taking the journey with me. Then we bring our hands to our shins, our hands to the soles of the feet, and draw the nose towards the knees, using every muscle just for another moment to seal your practice. And you can now release back to where you started, either straight into Shavasana, or if you wish to take your resting posture and bridge, Supta Baddha Konasana, Yogi's Choice as always, or come into Corpse Pose and surrender to the mat, taking these last few moments for you. Splay out the heels and toes. Release the shins, your knees, the thighs. Root the hip points to the mat. Release the core and chest. Shoulders, roll them to the mat, to the back. Release the forearms. Palms are open to receive and release the face, your chin, cheeks, eyes, brow, and the sweet top of your head. Notice the support that is under you, around you, and within you, Shavasana. your body, 
just notice what it feels like to be in your body. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe you touch each finger to your thumb and slowly begin to draw your toes to touch and reach the arms above your head to take a good morning wake up stretch. Inhale through your nose, send the breath as if to your toes. And as you exhale, slowly begin to bring your knees towards your chest and softly rock from side to side and then make your way over to your right side using your right arm as a pillow and pause here on the mat. Pause to thank yourself for coming to the mat, to thank your body for what it just did for you during your practice. Unplugging helps you refocus on yourself. Instead of being pulled in a million directions, unplugging allows you to focus on being in the moment the here and now. It can help you step away and stop reacting to a friend's story, a news article, or an outrage over worldwide events. Unplugging gives you the chance to reconnect to who you are at your core. When you're ready, slowly press your way up to an easy seat. Joining me at the top of our mat, we'll bring our hands to heart center to take a falling out breath together. Inhale through the nose, Exhale, let it out. Inhale the thumb to third eye center and exhale, bow forward. The light to me honors this light and beauty and the yogis have joined for this practice where I'm so forever grateful. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel Yoga Apothecary by clicking the subscribe button below. And if you'd like to learn more about how to live a happier, more vibrant life, sign up for our bi-monthly newsletter, The Wellbeing Elixir. And stay tuned for next week when we cover the letter V in the Wellbeing series A to Z. Namaste.